Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you this, the cutest uh, coal or uh, neck warmer uh, in the world, I think. Uh, these daisies are so cute. I love it very much. Um, you saw that, I think, put these daisies on uh, cardigans or pullovers. I prefer to use this time on the coal. I use different stitch, but so easy stitch, but its effect, uh, I like it very much. It says uh, a 3D effect and um, like popcorn, but not we make popcorns, you, saw, uh, you will see in the video. I like it so much. Uh, I will tell you that how to make these daisies. It's so easy. You can make these daisies and use different projects which you want. You can use it. You can put uh, on blankets or on uh, pillows. I think it's so cute. Or uh, shawls, again cardigans, pullovers, which you want, which you wear, uh, you want to use. I use in my call this yarn. This is color made easy line brand yarns and uh, it's 200 grams is 247 yards 226 meters 7 ounces it's 5 sizes 5 bulk yarn they recommend us using 6.5 millimeter and i use 6.5 millimeter too and again uh, use the different color, the uh, white and that uh, yellow yarn, uh, that's quality I use for the daisies. I will uh, give all the details in the video, but if you have any questions, please leave me comments and also don't forget subscribe to my channel. If you are ready, we can start to crochet our the cutest call with daisies. Let's start to crochet. I use brown color in my coal, but I want to show you a more lighter uh, color uh, with that pattern, so you can uh, see that easily. Same quality, different uh, color. I will take my yarn. You need for this pattern uh, multiples of three. I use in that coal 66 chains. I have 66 stages and it's equal to uh, 60 centimeters this is for an adult if you want to make it for a child uh, you can uh, decrease that uh, maybe 50 okay you can measure it turn all around the neck and uh, you give a space for that nearly uh, 15 to 20 centimeter it's okay I will show you a little sample for that uh, pattern. We will uh, crochet turning. Uh, it's, it's so easy. Only one row repeat. You can use that stitch everywhere. You like it, I promise. First of all, make a slip knot. Then make your chains. Not make so tight or so loosey. Okay. Four, five. Six, seven. I show a sample uh, here, so I made here thirty stitches. But uh, for an adult, you need sixty centimeter, and it's equal that with my hook and yarn, sixty-six stitches. Now join two sides together. Be careful not making any turnings here. Get two sides together. Now, chain one, insert into the same stitch, grab your yarn, you have two loops, pull through all together and make a single crochet. Then yarn over, insert into the same stitch, grab your yarn, you have three loops this time, pull through all together and you make half double crochet. Yarn over and insert into the same stitch again. Grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two. 
make a double crochet. Then skip two stitch, insert into the third one. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the same. Grab your yarn, you have three loops, pull through all together and make a half double crochet. Yarn over and insert into the same. Grab your yarn, pull through two, pull through two, make a double crochet. So we skip two stitch, insert into the third one and make here one single crochet. one half double crochet and one double crochet then skip two insert into third one and do the same thing one single one half double and one double skip two insert into third one make a single make a half double, make a double crochet in the same stitch. Complete that, come to end and I will turn to you. I come at the end, here skip two. This is our joining point. Okay, not be confused, not make here one more three group. I will insert my hook from the first single crochet, grab my yarn and join with a slip stitch two sides together. Now chain one and turn my work. Not uh, going to clockwise, you will turn your work anti-clockwise and going crocheting. Insert into the same stitch and make here single, not count that chain one, okay. Yarn over and make half double yarn over and make a double pull through two pull through two then skip two and come to the previous row of single crochet and make on it single half double and double then skip two come to previous row single crochet stitch and make here single half double and make double skip two come to third stitch the third stitch is always your single crochet stitch make here single half double and double crochet complete this row come to end I will turn to you I come at the end and this is a key point a little skip two come to the last single and you don't make last single that three group okay always if you make here a uh, this group you you are always turning and getting more bigger 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 this is our uh, slip stitch point but i'm not making a slip stitch that third stitch i don't want to make a hole here and i will insert my hook the bottom of that you remember we turn with chain one. I will insert that chain one and make here a slip stitch. So we don't have a big hole here. If I will insert from that stitch here, we have a big hole here. You can see. So first of all we make chain one you remember that i will insert that chain one and make a slip stitch and you can see we don't have any increases here if we make here uh, the, this uh, three group single half double and double it's getting more bigger then chain one and the second key point is that not keep crocheting like that turn my work this is I will insert into the same stitch not count that chain one make here single half double and double then skip two come to the single crochet stitch and make here single half double 
and double. If you want to make a bunny, you will keep crocheting like that because we crocheting turning. If you make a blanket, uh, actually you chain one and turn your work like that. We uh, use that technique in that uh, circle crocheting. I will keep crocheting as same when I come to ends. When I come here, you remember, I will make here single, half double and double. Come to the last set here. Skip to not make here that three group. I will join with a slip stitch. That my chain one. Then chain one and turn my work. This time I will keep crocheting this side. Always I will make my stitch in my single crochet stitch. Don't forget that. I crochet that here 15 rows. It's uh, your prefer to how much, how many uh, rounds you crochet. It's your dessert. I prefer to crochet 15 rounds and it comes to 18 centimeter and it's 7 inches. If you want to make more, you can keep crocheting. Join with a here. I will show you that you can see the last joining here. I make single half double and double that single crochet stitch and come to the last part. Skip to here, not make here and join with a slip stitch that my chain one space our first chain one and lock with chain one I couldn't do that and lock it uh, it's same line uh, you do that like that and not you can see that not any increases here this is starting round and this is finishing round you can see it's as same as now we start to make this cute daisies I will take my white color which color you want you can choose that for your daisies First of all, make a magic ring. Uh, and I want to add something. Uh, it's so hard to uh, crochet that daisies with that uh, type of hooks. If you have uh, not covered hooks, it's more easier. First of all, we will make a magic ring. Grab your yarn, make a hole. Not uh, leave that yarn insert your hook into that hole grab your yarn and make a single crochet then make one more and you will make totally six single crochet in your magic ring three four five and this is six then close that hole Pull that yarn and close it. Then come to the first singles. Insert your hook. Grab your two yarn together. Here. It's a little hard, but okay. Now leave that here because we use that for tie our daisies chain four one two three four yarn over we will we made here puffs insert my hook first stitch grab my yarn and lose it one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten times yarn over, insert, and grab my yarn. So I have here 21 loops. I pull through 20 of them. Grab my yarn. And leave here chain loop and dead loop. Then grab my yarn again and pull through two of them. Then a little technique here. You will push that puff like that with your finger and make a puff here then tie that tightly like it then chain two one and two turn back like here like uh, you do popcorn think like that insert into same stitch Grab your yarn and make here a slip stitch. This is our daisy's first puff. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. Insert into next stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. Pull through twenty of them. I have one loop and the chains loop. Grab my yarn and pull through two of them. Before the tight it, I will push that puff like that. I make a ball here, make a popcorn here. I push with my finger. Then tie it tightly. One and two chains and turn like that. Behind that pop puff, insert into same stitch and make here a slip stitch. We make the second one. I will show you one more time after you can make it easily. One, two, three, four. Starting with four chains. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. It's a little hard. Pull through. I have two loops. Pull through two of them and push that puff like that. And tightly close it. Chain two. One and two and turn with chain two behind of that puff insert into same stitch and make here slip stitch make three more that puff come at the end I will turn to you I come at the end and make last puff push it to inside and make three the that puff chain two sorry make it make it tightly I need here like that chain two turn behind of it insert into same stitch and make here a slip stitch then turn to back side chain one and cut your yarn This is ready. 
now we will make that uh, the middle point which color you want you will take it it's a little hard because we make only one puff here if you choose more uh, thicker yarns your daisy is more bigger comes to more bigger now make a slip knot here and chain four one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten it's a little hard do the same thing pull through 20 of them and leave here one loop and the one chain loop now grab my yarn again and do the same thing push it like that and tight it like tight so tight uh, make it so tight chain two turn to back and insert into the which we make that puff here and join with a slip stitch make a big ball here make a big popcorn here chain one and cut my yarn now insert your hook daisies one space take this yarn here and take it here and opposite side I will insert and take the second yarn turn back and tie it here your daisy is ready like that you can use it everywhere and uh, which color you want it's your choice I will tie it because if I uh, want to use it different place I can take it easily I want to put it here how can we do that we will insert our hook take this two yarn here and insert second two group here and tie them it's so easy I uh, made it last night and I want to show you immediately I want to share with you I hope you like it and you will try and you will use these daisies everywhere because I want to use them everywhere uh, maybe we will change that call to do Benny I will show you uh, if you want to use them different projects uh, please leave me comments and uh, I will think about that uh, where can we use maybe we will uh, make a cardigan with them okay uh, please leave me comments about that we finished our call our neck warmer it's so easy you can see that effects and the daisies are so beautiful too if you have any questions please leave me comments and also don't forget subscribe to my channel Thanks for your time and thanks for your support. You can reach me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest and on Etsy as the same name crochet with Gigi. Hope to see you in new videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.